guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm coming back on to do another two page 12 by 12 Disney scrapbook layout. And uh, what I have here is a 12 by 12 piece of craft cardstock that I've inked around the edges in my Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo. And it's 12 by 12. And then I have a piece of cream colored car cardstock that I've also inked around the edges with the same distress ink. And it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So we're going to adhere this down. I'm trying to learn not to be an over adhesive user. I'm going through tape in my ATG gun like crazy. Then my next piece is this blue piece and I inked around the edges of it in the um, Distress Oxides Mermaid Lagoon and this comes from the first few years cartridge. It was actually doubled and I sliced it in half um, and then measured it to be 11 and a half inches wide and it's and I manipulated the measurements. So then I made it three and a quarter, 3.25 inches high. And again, it comes from the first few years cartridge. And I'm going to put this on the top of my layout. Put it right there. Then my next piece is this brown piece, and I'm calling this a hill border. That's not what it's called in design space. It's called a scalloped border, or I believe that it is. It is cut at 11 and a half inches wide by 5.90 inches high, and it comes from the Folk Art Festival cartridge. I've used a lot of cartridges in this layout, so beware. This layout was a little more difficult for me to do, but I knew that I wanted to do it. It's a cartridge that I've had for a few years now, and I am yet to cut any images from it until this layout. So... You get to see me do it for the first time. You get to see what I did for the first time. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's okay. And I hope it inspires you guys. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go with. So I, I thought about not doing this video and it's like, you know what? I need to show videos I'm not 100% happy with as well. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. My next image that I'm going to lay down is this road. And I brought in two of them, welded them together, and then I did contour to put in a background layer because I didn't want the stripes in the highway to be just what was showing through the background at all. So that's what I did. So it's the, my road layer that I spliced together and it's all curvy. And then I put the background layer and I did a light gray on that because I didn't want it white and I certainly didn't want it yellow. So that's what I did. And let me look, I'm looking at my notes here to see my measurements. My road is cut at 11 and a half inches wide by 2.9 inches high. And I'll be telling you most all 
both dimensions wide and high because I did a lot of manipulation on this layout and I don't remember which ones I manipulated and which ones I didn't because there was only a few that I did not and this uh, road or highway comes from the paper dolls for everyday cartridge and everything on this layout is going down flat can you believe I'm not using one piece of dimensional tape? I'm shocked too. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> Let's see here. Now I gotta make sure I got my robe going in the right direction. I don't think I do. I think I want it going this direction because it is a little bit directional, guys. Yes, I want it going in that direction. Right there. So I'm trying to create a desert background is what I'm trying to do. So we're going to see if this works. And let me find my phone for a second. I want to show you something. I just turned like as old as dirt on Saturday. I turned 52. And my husband and daughter had a cake made for me. And I got to show you this. I don't know if you can see that very well from my phone, but look at that. Isn't it amazing? The guy that got to made it put copic markets markers all the way down here and the 52 candles hiding it. They had it on top to start with and made me blow it out and then put them on the side. And look at the scissors and the pot with the paint brushes, water paint brushes in the water. And he's got yarn and he's got acrylic paint and buttons and a paint palette and colored pencils. It was so freaking and amazing oh my goodness I'm not a sweet eater and I don't really eat anything with sugar in it but it was so freaking amazing and they were so proud of their accomplishment that I actually ate a slice of it and they know if I eat cake it has to be strawberry so it was a strawberry cake and I took all the frosting and fondant off and ate the cake part itself for a little slice and the cake was just as delicious as it looked I'm sorry I had to share that because I was so proud of my cake <laughs> they really know me I got the best husband and daughter and son-in-law in the world they know me <laughs> Now, my next image that I'm going to bring in is a photo mat, and this will hold a 4x4 four four photo with the green layer being 45 by 4 and a half and the black layer being 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, so it's a, a square photo. And I'm going to put some adhesive right down here, and I'm going to put it right up here. My next layer is my title, Speed. I am Speed. Now, if you didn't look at my thumbnail, do you know what this layout is? <laughs> and remember what I said. I've had this cartridge for years and have never cut a single image from it. So it's my first time. And I want to put that, I want it, I want it angled and I'm going to put it right there. And um, speed, need for speed title comes from um, the Disney Pixar Cars cartridge, as if you didn't know already. And it is cut at 6.88 inches wide by 2.69 inches high. My next image that I'm going to put down is a cactus. And this cactus it, um, comes from the Yeehaw cartridge. 
in uh, from Cricut and the large one is cut at 3.35 inches wide by 5.90 inches high. I used my black glaze pen and tried to make prickly needles that came through and I've had this cartridge or this layout all cut out and put together for a few days now and um, was ready to put it together for film to film it and I was trying to decide if I was going to or not and um, in the meantime I had got an order in that I had placed from close to my heart and it had a stamp in it that were these little lines and if I hadn't already done my glaze pen I would have used that stamp instead because it would have been perfect prickly pine needles or cacti, cacti needles <laughs> and I couldn't redo it so if I'd have had that to begin with that's what I would have used instead of do, doodling on it my next image is um, Mac and Mac is cut at 8.82 inches wide by 6.94 inches high and all of these shiny parts that you're seeing the camera pick on pick up on to look like a mirror is actually mirror cardstock I had one sheet of it left that I've had for years and I just thought this made the perfect perfect project to use it on. So I have paper pieced all of MAC together with the exception of Rusty up here and this I actually uh, grouped together and attached and did as a print and cut because there was no way in the world with this layout being as detailed as it was that I was going to put all of those little yellow pieces together. <laughs> so let me get um, Mac laid down. He's quite a big image. So he himself is going to take a lot of adhesive. And then I want to put a piece on his little steam pipe there. And then rope it under. And I'm going to put Matt right down here. Right there's where he's going to go. And then I have another little flowering cactus and this one is the small one and um, it is cut at 2.73 inches wide by 3.64 inches high and it comes from the Ole Cricut cartridge. And for the centers of the flowers I use Nouveau Drops. And I used gold Nuvo drops, but they didn't come out gold at all. You can see they were glitter gold. And you can see the glitter in them, and the glitter does shine gold. But because I put it on that deep red cardstock, it's not showing gold. And I am laying my cactus down flat. And I'm going to put it right down here. I've never seen the movie Cars because it came out after my child was an adult and didn't watch cartoons anymore. So I'm not 100% familiar with the cartoon. Well, I'm not familiar with the cartoon at all or this Disney movie. But I know it's pretty popular. So my interpretation of a car's layout may not be suitable for everyone. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm doing my best. 
The next thing that I'm using is this little um, cow skull, or I forget what those big cows are are called. I know it's not a bison or a buffalo, but the big cow skulls. And um, this comes from the Yeehaw cartridge too, and it was actually part of the large cactus image that came with this large cactus, this skull image and a fence. I just broke it down and tore it all apart and took the images that I wanted and I wanted the cactus and the skull and I'm gonna lay my little skull right down here because they're supposed he's supposed to be in the desert right am I wrong about this movie taking place in the desert if I am let me know but I thought I was right so that finishes the left side of my 12 by 12 cars layout so <laughs> let's see here so we're gonna move let me set this to the side we're gonna move over to the right side I have my layers laid out exactly the same with the exact same measurements and I already have everything adhered as well so the next thing I'm going to lay down is my next road. And I cut this one like the other one, but I just used my scissors and cut some things off flat here. And it's the same measurements as well. And obviously the same cartridge. Oh my goodness, my glue gun is... Er, my ATG gun is squeaky tonight. Horribly squeaky. And this flat piece that I cut, that angled piece, I'm going to angle it right down here at the bottom. And I'm lining it up with the brown scallop piece that I have put down. Now, my next piece is a one-way eh, sign, and this comes from the same Disney Pixar uh, Carter's cartridge, and my one-way sign is cut at um, one and 1.70 inches wide by 3.81 inches high, and I'm going to tuck the post of my sign right behind my road there and I'm going to place it right there. My next image is a giant sun and I've um, pieced together this and deleted a bunch of it because my sun comes from the Miss Kate's Cuttable Springtime Cartridge and I cut it at 4.49 inches wide by 4.43 inches high and um, took off all of the cute, the cute stuff that Miss Kate's Cuttables is famous for. Don't get me wrong, I love Miss Kate's Cuttables. Loved her work way before she was ever part of Cricut own tons of her images as well. Love Miss Kate's cuttables. <coughs> and some of them um, are now in design space and if you have um, access, they're included in it. And I'm going to place it right here and I'm also going to be cutting off those pieces that are hanging over the edge. Let me find my scissors here without tearing everything up on my desk. And we're going to just flip this over and cut off the pieces that are hanging over. Get those out of the way. And bring my layout back in. 
I have another photo mat, matted the exact same way, but this one is a 4x6, so my green layer is 6.5x4.5, uh, and, and, and my black layer is 4.25x6.25, and, and, and I'm going to lay it flat, and it will hold a landscape photo. I feel like I need a little bit more there. And I'm going to place it right up here. My next image is another little cacti that I did my black glaze pen doodling on. It's cut at 2.73 by uh, 3.64. And again, it comes from the Yeehaw cartridge. And I'm just going to put a little adhesive on here. I'm going to put it right down here. Like so. Then I have a larger um, cactus with the flowers. Did it exactly the same way as I did the smaller one. And this one is also cut at 2.73 by 3.64. And it comes from the Olay cartridge. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Olay is O-L-E according to me. <laughs> That's how it's spelled. According to me is how it's pronounced. <laughs> so, and I'm going to place it right down here. Okay. And I have no adhesive over the, on the back of that flower portion there. Now, <clears throat> my next image is... Um, Lightning McQueen, and he is cut at 7.45 inches wide by 4.07 inches high. He came out pretty freaking cute, if I say so myself. <laughs> so, and I am going to lay him down flat too. So, as a newbie to this cartridge, not a newbie owner, but a newbie of cutting this cartridge and trying to put something together from a video or movie that I've never seen. And for all of you people that have and know what it's all about, I hope, I sincerely hope that I captured the essence of cars. And if I didn't, please let me know and what I need to do differently because my friend that's getting this, this scrapbook, I don't want her to think I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I would love your feedback. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining me. And more importantly, thank you for subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. So here is my two-page Disney Cars Layout. Speed. I need speed. Cheers!